Hello, we're live at Once Upon a Time. Or should I just steal Sandy's opening? Who's on what? I'm on mine. We're live on Legendary. Hello. Okay, let me switch it around. Get some opening remarks. Here we are. Here we are. Hi, I'm live online. And um, yeah, you should see it. We should both have that. Welcome, everybody. We are here at Once Upon a Time. It is a project that we're working on. And it is a theme park at Disney S. So we go in there. Got a little bit of everything for you. Today we did a big review on the inside of the garage. So that building over there is actually a cave, and on the inside is there's, there's a theme, so you'll have to go and take a peek and see what that is. And then from there, good luck having a little bit of a tour here. So there we go. Oh, we should have uh -oh. checking out this dude over here too before we head in there. What? What are we checking out? Uh, we're checking out what are we doing here today. Yeah. And what are you Who are you, random stranger? New hire, right? Slim <laughs> shade. Kevin Shaw, and we did a reveal, a grotto reveal, um, because uh, Haley has been hiding all of the wonderful magical details in there from me, so today I got to go see it for the first time, and it's truly amazing. Walt Disney would be ending It's awesome. Did you ever try to pee? No. So I ruined Christmas once when I was six and seven, and I know better than you. You did look a little bit surprised when Kaylee said she measured where she put the door. <laughs> well, I thought she could trust me. Apparently, yeah. I, I'm not talking about stuff here. I'm trustworthy. <laughs> what was your favorite before we go in and, and look at it? Um, I love the mine car. That to me is just with the tires and the track and the mine car. And then, and then I heard how it was made. Yeah, and it's just, it's amazing because it's, it's all made yeah. by hand. And it's yeah. out of pieces and parts of other things that turned into that. I didn't know that was handmade. The mine car was handmade. It was. He took apart a, like a wheat thrasher. And when he pulled the board off of it, it's got dates and amounts that were thrashed from the 1800s. Part of an old scale or cash register, a wheat thrasher, a barrel. It's like you just took parts and created that. It's all right, well, we'll Alex Atard would also be proud. So, so my dad made it? Yes. Okay. No, okay. your dad made that. I really liked it too, so let's, uh, let's, let's head, head over. over. Let's mosey on over there. Bye. Thank you, new hire slash tour attraction owner. So here's the sign that Kaylee had made to make sure that nobody was peeking. Here's our enchanted cottage. Our guide fish. And here we go. So here's the cart that Kevin was talking about, made from miscellaneous things. Kaylee carved the track. The dwarfs will be dry. Once there's water in here, this is the seat, so the water will come probably just about right there. This is a little 
little vignette. Your eyes need to adjust so you can see the characters and the super surprise. Oh, yeah, there. Check it out. All right. Okay. We're going to the door because signal goes a little weak in the grotto. It's a lot of concrete. So what do we think? Was it everything that you had like planned strategically in your mind? Oh. <laughs> and you knew I do plan in my mind. It was beyond, beyond anything I could imagine. Absolutely magical. Um, awesome. Oh, you get allergies too? <laughs> Frank, what did you think? I thought, okay, so I saw it throughout the creation of it. And then last night I was in there while you guys were setting it up, and I waited for everybody to get out. When I went in there, it was totally different than it was last night. I mean, it just it was all cleaned up. It is, it is very amazing. Good job, guys. Hi, what do you think? <laughs> she was trapped in there all day yesterday. It's a little toasty in there. And yet you're in a sweatshirt. How come? And what does wearing a sweatshirt do? I can work longer than most people. If you leave your sweatshirt on from the time you get up in the morning to until you can't handle it anymore in the day, you can still work a few more hours after. Whereas if someone puts a t-shirt on at the beginning of the day and they try to take it off, well then they can't cool down because there's nothing to... And it helps trap in your sweat so you can cool down. <laughs> Good to know, Kaylee. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm standing down wind, so I don't smell anything. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go this way. Are you going that way? I'll go the other way, whatever way you're not going. We'll just walk around the pool. Oh, was that Okay, she's going that way. I'm going this way. Here's our Ah, hot tub. Oh, this is another fun one. I know if you've been watching us, though, you've seen this before. It did shine up the window a little more. Check it out. We're going to have a super fun video coming out today now that we can release it with Sedona, the most delightful nine-year-old giving us a tour. All the details are so fun. Wow, this is going to be a crazy ride, slide. <clears throat> Whoever was staining the tree, looks like we got a little splash over. We'll have to get some touch-up artists out here. Hmm. In case we're wondering, it's like a really big tree. It is. Here's our slate roof, reclaimed slate from our friends over at CEI. These are our carved handrail got some detail on the edges. Kaylee's door. I bet they're waiting for Kaylee to come up with the color scheme. Nice. Let's see. 
Here's some of our carvings that I found out just yesterday was originally supposed to be Darth Vader. Didn't work out so well. Now it's a lamp, which is awesome. Here's a Mr. Sanders tree, which Winnie the Pooh took over. We've got something fun planned in there. We had a whole team meeting where we discussed rather vigorously what that should become. This is where Mark comes in. He just gets a whole mess of pipes and then he has to make it do something functional. So this is, I'm wondering what the best way to go around is. I'll go this way. This is equipment pad for the lower pool. Because the height of the pool equipment in relation to the water, it does matter. This is a lot of plumbing. So we'll have in-floor in the lower pool. We will have our sand filter, our variable speed pump. couple of our vignette spaces. Then the lower pool. This will be a lot easier to do right now today since there's no water in it. So I am going to take you all the way down in this lower pool, which is looks about five feet from floor to coping, maybe just shy of five feet, probably in the deepest spot where our MDX drain will be. It's a gigantic drain. We've got some of the jets for the cleaning, the wall jets, our skimmer. So it has all the stuff a normal pool would have just more of it and at a pretty big scale here's our slide that's a pretty steep slash large slide which will pop you out down here which is awesome it's a really cool view of the tree from here every time I come here I'm amazed and blown away just really super fun. Oh, I did lose signal a little bit in the grotto. I've taken a lot of video that I'll post separately just because cell phones weren't too happy in there today. So because there's the upper pool and the lower pool, the homeowner has requested a viewing platform. So of course the magic carpet is where the lifeguard will get to sit. I secretly just want to move into the Enchanted Cottage. I think that's awesome. We're still live. You've got a lot of pool. We do. We've got a lot of live pool. You do? Yeah, did you get another dog next door? Oh, ooh. Here's the other equipment pad which I'm sure Kevin is going to learn inside and out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Both systems. See, see what you got here is a whatchamacallit. <laughs> and we're going to find a, a who's it, what's it, and, and it's, well, it's spring-loaded. That's spring-loaded, so that's, you know, important. <laughs> Good. Yep, he'll, he'll definitely be taking care of this. He'll be meticulously cared for with his whatchamacallit and thingamajiggies. This is also a new way that I've now seen Mark do the um, R2-D2. Normally it's like the lower pool kind of more vertical and here we come out of it and we go pretty horizontal. But the height of this in relation to the water, again, it's important for function. 
So time frame wise, people always ask, how long does something like this take? Ooh, how long have we been on the job? We've been on the job probably nine weeks, 10 weeks at this point. And we probably have about a month left, so about four weeks. So there you have it. It's enchanting. Tours available upon request. The team's here a lot. If you miss or reveal today and you'd like to stop over at the job site and check it out, I'm sure that can be arranged. Until next time, I can't wait till this pool has water in it. Thanks for watching.